I'm from a town outside of Tel Aviv, and I was brought up with animals and horses and a big land of grass and a um, very small house. We're four children, and I grew up like climbing on trees and running um, on the grass with the water, you know. So I was I had a very nice upbringing, very simple, very basic. So I started when I was really young, I was a baby. And um, I always liked to do the commercials and to be on the TV and go on photo shoots days like a little girl. And I had braces on my teeth for three years. And then when they took them off, I was already, you know, 15, I wanted to do it again, and I was already grown up, so it started to be fashion. I remember my first time on the catwalk, yes. I was 15, and I was really excited, and I did not know how to walk, and I did not know what to do. And the guy that was doing the fashion show was smart enough to not try to make me do something that I don't know how to do. He just said, go and be yourself. And it's the biggest thing you could say to me then because I was really myself. I was playful, I was walking, laughing. I did, you know, what I felt like. So it didn't look forced, it just looked like me. There's a picture. Fashion to me, um, first of all, it's my job. <laughs> but as a girl, I enjoy it so much because you know, we have so many different things. We have the dresses and the skirts and the tops and the jackets and the coats and the accessories and everything. So it's, it's playful for me. It's like, um, it's a game. You know, it's, um, it's a change of attitude. It's a change of character sometimes. So I enjoy like, you know, at night to have a different style and during the day a different style. So I, I feel different when I dress. During every day, I'm very basic. Um, I like jeans and t-shirts and very simple and basic. Sometimes I love when I have the opportunity to put like this, these beautiful gowns in for the events and dress up. But even when I dress up for the event, it's always feminine, not too crazy. <laughs> There's this designer from Israel that I absolutely love and I'm going to bring her to, to the world. Her name is um, Dodo and she does, her company name is Papertois, which I love because then they come, they ask you, where is this from? And you say Papertois, not for you. <laughs> so always, doesn't matter where I'm going, I have a pair of uh, leggings for the travel, because I need to be comfortable. Um, 20 white t-shirts, um, one little black dress, a pair of high heels, big, big, big scarf for the flight, because it's always cold. And um, I always carry the Lanvan flats, because <laughs> they go with everything always. They're a really good solution for everything. Shoes. I'm embarrassed to say. Um, I probably have probably have around a hundred pairs of shoes. My style icon. Hmm. I mean, of course, I love Kate Moss because everything she puts always looks amazing, but effortless. Um, but really, I like more the simple, like, uh, you know, the jean and t-shirt girls. So, Cindy Crawford, <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, the simple girls that everything just always looks so elegant on them. I think everyone knows it, but it's really, really true. Less is always more. So, you know, it's either the really 
um, the shoes that you can really see and then just a really simple dress or jeans and, and t-shirt but then a crazy bag so not to go overboard I always try to not put all of my crazy things together <laughs> Less is always more. And I think that the biggest fashion tip I can give is um, be comfortable. If you're not comfortable in what you're wearing, then it's not going to look good even if it's the most amazing outfit in the world. You have to have a smile on your face and a good attitude and feel comfortable with the way you carry yourself. Otherwise, nothing would look good.